Hello again. Alright, we have done a, a comic style, a watercolor style. So for part three of this promo series, uh, I'm going to do a more painted or sketch painted style for this group, this panel here. So let me... Uh, lock up group two here unlock group three make sure that I'm on the right one yep alright since this is going to be more of a painted style <coughs> excuse me uh, I don't want this harsh black lines kinda like on uh, the watercolor style I, I went in and uh, erased some of the line work and lowered the opacity I'm going to do something similar here uh, once again I'm going to duplicate the original inks layer bring that down we'll call it uh, inks uh, painted and I got to reconnect that layer. And then with my selection made, I want to inverse and then hit uh, backspace to delete all the other ink, all this ink out here is gone. And then inverse my selection again. So I'm back working with the uh, panel I want, and then switch the mode to, let's say, overlay for now, maybe like a soft light. What it does is it'll pick up the color underneath uh, the actual ink. So this color, here, this black here will start to change. Then we can lock that. I should only need, this is group four, That's, I should only need one layer, then group three, okay. Above the background layer, and let's test this out a little bit here, make sure I'm getting what I, what I'm looking for. Okay, I didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't erase it off of here. So I hit on my inks layer, hit backspace. Now it's, now it's off of that layer. Then I can lock that again and raise the opacity back up. There we go. Now you can see that the, if I zoom in here, the line art is actually changing colors based on what's behind it. So it's it's got a little bit of orange tint down to a purplish tint. If I change it to overlay, okay. Go back to soft light. All right. Now that I know that's working. And lock that. Go back to my color. And I already know that I want her her bodysuit here to be like a dark purple. That's why I made the background purplish. And 
and then her head is going to be a regular skin tone. Back on the inks layer for this group, this panel, I want to kind of smudge the black around because I don't I don't want it to look too inked. So if I just give it that softened edge, it'll help uh, pull it all together and make it look a little bit more painted which is what we're going for here. Alright, something like that. I want it to be like a very sharp, bright contrast. So I might even use uh, Hue and Saturation to darken that purple up a little bit even more. So that when I add this highlight color, it really really stands out, really pops out. I'm not trying to cover the whole thing, I'm just really hitting uh, some main highlighted areas. Alright, once you get the highlighted areas the way you like, you can go back in and add the shadow. I just want to separate different sections by adding in the light here. <laughs> 